What's up guys, it's Osiris. Welcome to a brand new video in this FL Studio manual series. I hope you guys are doing well. Today we'll be taking a look at how you can make music with FL Studio. So let's get right into this. In the last video, we looked at the different sections in the FL Studio interface. And according to the manual here, it says, once you have mastered the FL Studio interface, that's what we did in the last video. We didn't master it, but we took a look at it. The next step is to learn the procedure for creating music, the FL Studio workflow. This typical, the typical steps making a track are outlined below. So in the last video, we took a look at the interface of FL Studio. We took a quick look at all the sections. And the next thing we are meant to do is take a deep dive into each section and controls. But I want us to... Um, I want to show you the FL Studio workflow and I want to show you how to make music. Then after that, we'll take a look at each of the individual FL Studio sections. So I'm doing this in reverse. I think this will be way more interesting. So when we understand the FL Studio workflow, we can go back to learning each um, things in each section. Then we can reattempt to make music again. When you open up FL Studio, this is what you see. And the FL Studio workflow to making music is to first load up the instruments you need. So if you click on this icon here, this is the channel rack. This pops up the channel rack. And if you can, if you take a look at the playlist here, you can see we have pattern one and we also have pattern one up here. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull up um, an instrument. So I'm just going to pull up from my sound bank here. I'm going to pull up packs, drums, kicks. I'm just going to pull up a kick. Then I'm going to drag this kick here. Then I'll just delete this. So we have a kick. Um, I'm just going to grab a snare. So let's go to snares here. I'm just going to drag this in. So let's create our first pattern. So I'm just going to set the BPM to 120. So the BPM is just the beats per minute. That's how fast or slow your song is. So let's make a simple pattern here. So you can click on these buttons here to make a pattern. I'm just going to bring down the volume of the kick with this button here. Then I have my first pattern here. I'll right click here. You can right click here to rename this pattern or you can also right click here to rename this pattern. So I'll right click here and click on rename and I'm going to name this drums. So I have the first pattern drums. Then I can click here to create a new pattern. So I'll call these keys. So I'm going to pull up an instrument, a virtual instrument. So I don't need sound from the sound bank again. So I'll use this icon here to pull up an instrument. So let's pull up FL keys. Then FL keys is a piano instrument. So I have a piano here. Then let's check the presets by right clicking this presets button here. Then I can see different type of pianos. I'm just going to choose e piano. Then I'll right click on this and I'm going to go to the piano row. So I'm going to choose C as my root key. And I'm just going to play some notes here. Let's turn on the metronome so we have something to follow a beat. I'm going to change this. I'm going to highlight this by pressing Ctrl, Shift, and dragging this. I'm going to move this button to extend this. So I have two bars. 
I'm going to add in some chords by clicking here. This doesn't sound right. I'll change this. So I have this nice sounding E piano and I have the drums here. So I have this drum pattern. I'm going to turn off the metronome. metronome. And I have this piano sound here. So I have two patterns and I'm just going to drag them to the playlist and arrange them. So I'm just going to start with the drums. I'm going to make the drums play for a while. And I'll bring in the keys together with the drums. Let's close this. I'm going to control shift and left click. Control shift and left click to highlight. And I'm going to press control B to duplicate this. So I have an eight bar song here. And that's about 15 seconds. So I've made a 15 second song. When we were arranging our instruments in the channel rack, we were using the pattern mode here. But when we want to work in the playlist, we switch to the song mode. So in the pattern mode, I can only listen to my drums or the particular pattern that is active. Then we move up to the keys. I can only listen to the keys. But when I switch to the song mode, I can listen to everything in the playlist. Let's listen to this. Nice. So we have a nice song going on here. And the next thing we want to do, we've worked with the channel rack, we've worked with the piano roll, we've worked with the playlist. We've worked with dragging songs from the browser. The next thing we want to do is work with the mixer. So we pull up the channel rack. Then I can drag this button here to put things in the mixer. Or I can click on a channel and also drag this button here to put things in the mixer. But I'm going to do something. I'll click on this. I'm going to press Ctrl L and that drags it to the selected mixer. I'll click on this. Press Ctrl L, that puts the snare on the second mixer. I'll click on this, click on my mixer, press Ctrl L, and that puts the E piano on the third mixer. Let's put this on song mode and let's play this. So my E piano is a little loud. I'll just reduce the volume of this. I'm going to reduce the volume of my snare a little. Then I want to give my snare a room effect. I want to make it sound like it's in a big hall. So I'm going to go to the effect slot here and I'm going to pull up Fruity Reverb 2. Then I'm going to right click the preset and select large hall. So let's listen to this. I'm going to reduce the volume of the effect by turning down the wet knob on Fruity Reverb 2. Then we should have something like this. I'm going to bring down the volume of the snare. So yeah, that's the FL Studio workflow. We made use of the browser. We selected our kick and snare from the browser, brought them into the channel rack where we started drawing out our drum sounds. Then we created a new pattern to draw out our piano, our e-piano. Then we made an arrangement in the playlist and we 
routed the instruments from the channel rack to the mixer and we did some volume adjustments on the mixer and put an effect called a reverb on the snare. So that's how you make music in FL Studio. This is the basics of making music. We also talked about the metronome. This is just something you can use to follow your timing. And we talked about our tempo here. We set our tempo to 120 BPM. So that's the FL Studio workflow. If you read this, you can see that's the basics of what they talk about here. So the final thing we need to do is save our project. So I'm going to go to File, Save. And I'm going to um, select a location. I'll go to Music Projects, Select Folder. I'm just going to save this as Let's um, Dance. And I'm going to click Save. So we've saved this track as Let's Dance. You can see the name here. And the final thing we need to do is export this track. So I'll go to File, Export. Let's export this to an MP3 file so we can share this with our friends. So MP3, Save. And I'm just going to choose MP3 here. I'm going to cut the remainder. I'm going to make this the maximum quality. We'll get into all these options later but make sure you have master effects enabled and let's start rendering our track so we've exported our track and if we go into the file browser here we can see our track let's dance let's play this Yeah, so that's the FL Studio workflow. That's how you make music in FL Studio. Check out the manual for more details. We'll be going into the details of each of the sections in another video. But I just wanted to quickly show you the FL Studio workflow and how to make music with FL Studio. So yeah, that'll be all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something new from this. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.